So today we've gotten a brand new update for the Citroen emulator and that is exactly what I'm running over here. This one is mainly for the PC users and I know a lot of you has been waiting for this update. So in this video, I'm going to safely guide you on how to download and set up the Citroen emulator on your PC and also show you everything you need to get it running perfectly. Also make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future emulation tutorials and updates. Without much ado, let's get started. Now before you can get the emulator running on your PC, there are three things that you need to have. One, the emulator itself, two, the firmware, and three, the product keys. So in all, every Switch emulator will need a firmware and product keys. Also make sure that the firmware will correspond, I mean the firmware version will correspond to the product key version. So as, as you can see here, I have firmware version 20.5.0, so meaning your your product keys version must also have the same version as the firmware so first of all um i can't teach you where to get the product keys and the firmware as it goes against the law on youtube concerning emulation stuff so um let's quickly get the emulator i mean let's quickly download the emulator from the official github page so first of all open your browser and then access the link from there it should take you to a page like this as you can see i'm on the official github page so when you are on the page just scroll down and under the asset section you should see something like citron blah 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 so this is a nightly version and this simply means that it gets updates every hour just grab whatever it is there so first of all you need to download the emulator so you just you just press on it and then you start downloading I've already downloaded the emulator which is this one and also once again I've already have my firmware and the product keys. So first of all we need to extract the emulator and to do that you can use and to do that you can use a program like WinRAR or 7-zip. So for the sake of this tutorial I'm going to use WinRAR. Now to install WinRAR open your browser and then type in WinRAR. Go to the official website and then here you should see download WinRAR. So download the application and then so download the application and then install it. So after the installation of the WinRAR, go ahead and then right click on the Citron emulator, which is in the form of zip file or RAW file just right click it and then you should see a WinRAR in this menu section so choosing WinRAR you select on the third one which says extract to citron windows nightly and so on so just select on this third one so it is done extracting the emulator now what is left is we have to extract our product keys as well so this is my product keys right click you see WinRAR select extract to product keys now we've extracted both the emulator and the product keys so go ahead and open the emulator please note um you need to run the emulator as a um, administrator so you right click here and then selecting on run as administrator select on this you run the application as an administrator press yes and then you should see something like encryption keys are missing for support please visit this code and so on so just press on ok and then you should see this little box popping up over here so um this is the this is a new this is a new um a new features that has been integrated into the latest version of the citron emulator so if you download the latest version obviously you are going to see this feature whenever you run the emulator for the first time so here at the welcome you can see something like welcome just go to the installation type here you can see portable and standard and for the sake of this tutorial i'll choose the standard make sure 
you leave it like that as in the form of standard come to the key session so this this session over here you are going to select this and then select the folder that we extracted our product keys so to do that just press on select keys files and then select the folder that contains your product keys remember this is the product keys and we extracted it into this folder so you open the folder and then inside the folder you should see something like prod.keys select the product keys and then you should see a pop-up saying successfully installed just press on ok now come to the firmware session and here you should see something like install firmware so what this simply means is that you press on install firmware you press on install firmware and then you locate the folder that contains your switch firmware remember we we had our firmware in a certain folder so um you press on install firmware and then here you select one if your firmware is in the zip or it, it's it's in the zip format you select this one or if your firmware is extracted to a folder then you select this and you select the folder that contains your extracted firmware files so for the sake for the sake of this tutorial my firmware so for the sake of this tutorial i have my firmware as in the form of zip format so i'll select this and then select the folder that contains my zip file firmware so this is my firmware and the firmware comes in the form of zip format so as you can see it's in a zip zip format so i'll select this one and then it should start installing please note um if you get failed meaning you didn't run the application with an administra administrator so um you should see something like firmware has been successfully installed just press on ok come to the game directory this simply means that you are going to set up our games files location so you press on this and then you select the folder that contains your roms files or your switch games files now i suggest you guys to leave everything to default and then come to the last session which says complete press on finish and then your games files should start appear at your home page so um this is it and as you can see we have a new feature which um which lets you set your games files as in the form of grid so um what's left is you have to um set up our controller session so we have to set up our controller to do that just come to the emulation side which is this one press on this come to the configure and then um go to the input session which is this one select on input session and then here you should see a controller interface like this so from here make sure your controller is connected to your pc so from here make sure your controller is connected to your pc and then come here make sure it's on pro controller and then under the input device which is, which is this one you select it and then you select your connected controller so here i have xbox one controller connected to my pc so i'm going to see xbox one controller in this session so i'll select this one and then it should automatically map to your controller so as you can see my controller is mapped to the emulator so now i can start playing my games after that just press on apply and then and then press on ok so um this is how we set up citron emulator i mean the latest version on our pc so thank you for watching if you really like this video please go ahead and subscribe to the channel see you next time